This is the Midnight Lift, and I'm going to talk about the Prius V and uh, why I think it's probably the best car you can use when you do Lyft and Uber driving, Uber X or Lyft. Basically, this is a four door. This is the wagon version. You'll notice it doesn't have the sloping roof, it's higher back. It's got 16 inch alloy rims. They come with factory covers, but I took them off. And then I went on eBay and spent about 17 bucks delivered for uh, two and a half inch center caps from Axis Auctions. Um, you can buy them cheaper direct from China for about 10, 11, 12 dollars, but I paid about 17. I ordered it on a Saturday shipped on Sunday night or Monday morning. I got them in the mailbox Wednesday, that fast. So they look pretty good. Alloy rims, Prius V, this is the Series 3 version. It is black. The windows are tinted. I got limo tin the back, all nine windows. The front windows are lightly tinted. You don't have to tint those. There's a lot of reason why uh, the Prius V is the best car for lift. And I had used the uh, Honda Civic earlier. And the main reason is that it's a hybrid. 40 miles per gallon is what I average. Um, in the Civic, I was getting close to 20 miles per gallon on average. Give you a shot of the car. Now, I went full time on Lyft and Uber back in uh, May, was my first full time month. You can see how big it is, it's very spacious. Okay, so it's a wagon. <clears throat> so 40 miles per gallon on average, city highway. And how come I was getting 40 in the Prius and while I only got 20 on the Honda Civic, even though the Honda Civic is rated at uh, 29, 30 in the city? Well, the reason is when you do Lyft and Uber, you sit around a lot of times at waiting for the customers to come to your car you're stuck at the stoplight your engine's always running you're eating gas with the Prius when you get to a customer's house and they take a couple minutes to get down to you the engine shuts off so you're saving gas you're not running you're on battery power when you're stop and go traffic if you don't, if you have a light foot, not a heavy foot, again, you are on battery power. You're saving gasoline. So let's give you an idea of the savings. I drove 4,000 miles in the month of May. 4,000 miles for lifting. Okay, so 4,000 miles, $350, $3.50 a gallon. That's about $600 worth of gas. In the Honda Civic. So with the Prius V, how much is that? Well, that's half, 40, 20, $300 a month for gas. I'm saving $300 a month in gas when I do full-time Ubering, full-time lifting using the Prius V. So those are some tips to maximize your profits. And plus, if, you're lift, if you are leasing your car and you have a 12,000 a year lease mileage cap, you're in trouble, you know. 4,000 miles a month, that's three months of already, you're done. And then you're gonna be paying penalty. You need to buy your car if you're gonna do this full time. Now if you do it part time, that's fine, that's great. Part time, I guess you can make 25 to $40 an hour. If you work the prime time, say you work two nights a week, you sacrifice Friday night, Saturday night from your kids, 
you work four hours, um, let's say from 7 p.m. to about midnight, a couple nights a week, you make 100 bucks a night. So let's say you do that twice a week for a month, um, you know, that's $200 a week, $800, $800 um, a month. Let's say you do this for 10 months, 800 bucks times 10, that's $8,000. Imagine if you started this in February, March, by Christmas time, you'll have $8,000 to spend for Christmas gifts. You'll have $8,000 to sp spend for a family vacation. You have $8,000 to, well, do whatever you want. Pay off some debt, cover your car payment, whatever. But now, okay, so out of that $800, you do need to deduct for expenses, your gas, whatever. So, like I said, um, if you already own your car, good, great. If you want to maximize profits, well, you're going to have to uh, consider a hybrid. Whether it's a hybrid Accord, hybrid Civic, hybrid Camry, hybrid Fusion, whatever. Go with a hybrid. That's my recommendation at this time. Okay, here, what's the deal with this? All right, look at this. It's, look at this. It looks like, look at these leather seats. Gorgeous, huh? Leather. Leather. Look at that leg room right there. That's pretty trick. Well, what it is, is this car came with uh, fabric seat covers. And I put these on myself. Actually, these are vegan leather. It's vegan. It's synthetic. One of the things you'll notice when you do lifting, especially at night, there's a lot of drunk people and they want to throw up. They might want to piss in your car. They definitely trash it. So if you want to protect your car, then you need to buy some uh, covers here. I put them on myself. Um, they're made by Clasio. I bought them on eBay. You'll check that out, Clasio. And they're awesome. They fit awesome. Look at it, the fit is good. People sit in here, they love it. Look at the seat leg room I got in this car. Okay, so, um, yeah, 299 bucks plus shipping. Um, took me about six hours to fiddle them all on. There's a lot of YouTube videos. They show you how to attach them and slide them on. And uh, give a shout out. Tell them the Midnight Lift uh, sent you. All right. Well, here's the nice thing, too, about this car. The back seats on the Prius V, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll try to show you. They recline. Did you see that? They recline. They also move forward and back. Check this out. See that? Slide forward, slide back. When you slide forward, you can recline the back seats a little further. So the back seat passengers feel like they're reclining. Let me get out of this car here. <clears throat> Check that out. See that angle? See that angle of brake? That's reclining right there. Passengers love that. You want five stars? That might get you the five stars right there. That reclining feature alone. I'll show you a bunch. Of, I'll talk about a bunch of other tips how to get five stars. Um, about that five star thing, I am a 4.9998 as a Lyft driver. Um, I'm also a platinum driver for Lyft. I'm in the top 2%. I'm a platinum. That means less than 2% of all Lyft drivers are platinum. We've earned a certain uh, uh, number of rides, uh, acceptance rating, star rating, cleanliness rating, friendliness rating, all that stuff. So, yeah, as a Lyft driver, I'm a top driver. On the Uber platform, on the Uber platform, I did seven rides in October, and then I quit for months. And then I started on Uber again uh, when I bought this car um, two weeks ago. So I'll tell you about my experience on Uber. Um, so after my seven rides, I got a 4.14, and after that 4.14, Uber sent me an email saying that I have to get my rating up to 4.6 something or other, I can't remember now, otherwise I can't drive. All right, so that kind of pissed me off. The tone of the letter was a little bit upset, setting to me, and I think Uber's kind of like 
gotten a little bit more friendlier or less harsh. But uh, I stopped driving for them for months until just a couple weeks ago. So, so ever since then, um, on Uber, um, my rating has gone up after I've been driving for two weeks. I've been like 4.99 or whatever it was. And so my overall rating is climbing. I'm like, went from 4.14 to 4.9 in a week, right? So after of heavy driving. So out of 154 rides, I had 155 star ratings. You know, I can't please everybody. I'm not going to be perfect. But uh, show you some of the other tips and tricks how to get five star. You'll notice water. I have water in all the door pockets. You buy, them at, you buy them at Costco. I have them in the trunk right there. The water costs about, you know, pennies on the dollar. I don't trip about that. I got gum right here you can help yourself some gum that's another five-star tip trick for you oh see this cord that's another five-star there's an aux cable back here and I have put in a double prong I have an Android cable and an iPhone 5 cable see in the back seat as they're sitting in the back seat like a limo they charge their phones they're blown away, all right? A lot of people are down to one, two, 10%. They need a charge. Here's another thing, how to get five stars. See this? this, is an aux cable. It reaches all the way into the back, right there. So people can play their music in the back. In the front, if you look, another trick thing, I hooked up a there's another aux hard to charge. I route it up to the front and I use some Velcro to attach it by my steering wheel. I don't know if you can see it, but I have three attachments. So one powers my Android phone, which I use for Lyft. One powers my iPhone, which I use for Uber. And then I have one extra up front, which is an iPhone 5 cable. Most people seem to have iPhone 5. They're very popular. So that the front passenger can charge their iPhone 5 when they're sitting up front. Lyft drivers, 50% of them like to sit in the front if they're single. Um, Uber drivers, almost 100%, they all sit in the back. Why that is, I don't know. A couple of little details, let me show you. Um, I have my Uber phone up here. Kind of route it there like that. Use a little suction cup thing to keep the wires out. And if you see that, that is the, that's where I mount my uh, Samsung Note Edge. I use a big phone um, and uh, it has a magnet. It's on the, I attached it to the back of my phone. I bought it at Best Buy, like 25 bucks, I think it was. And you put, you stick uh, metal to the back of your phone and then it, uh, and then, and then it just, I has a heavy magnet right there on the uh, base there and you just attach it and detach real easy real quick so that's a couple cool things about the Prius V and why I still think it's probably the best uh, the best uh, car for lifting an uber at this time um, I have a fast track I put the put it up temporarily you know um, right up here on the dash just sits here when I need to go through the tolls um, you'll say what is that little thing right there well that is for this this is called a glow stash so I stick it up on the car here if you see that so when when you drive down the road when a passenger drives down the road check that out and it's glowing at, at night they can see you from several blocks down the way all right they can see you several blocks coming out there it's it's an awesome it's an awesome thing they it, it, it gets them ready okay um, some things you'll need to know is uh, you got to have your lift placards ready to go into the airport yellow tag lift tag um, I've got my uber I flip that down um, also have it on this side right there so I could flip it over and stick it into 
So I just kind of stick it into the window right there, boom. And so you have your um, clearance for the airport. Without that, in California anyway, you'll get charged. A thousand bucks. Oakland, we couldn't even go in there, um, but now we can. Oakland opened up, LAX opened up. Um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, other cool thing is I offer Starburst. I blow people away with the Starburst. I think a lot of Uber drivers and Lyft drivers do too when we have them. I mean, some customers get so excited. I got water and they're blown away. I've got the cell phone chargers. They're blown away. You know, I got the gong, the, the treats. Um, the friendly smile <laughs> and the nice smelling car. Oh yeah, on smell, I use Febreze right here. Deodorant, um, and it just refreshes, eliminates odors. I just do a couple squirts onto the carpet, like that. I try not to use any heavy scents, so this kind of eliminates scents and makes the car smell fresh. Um, okay, so have a little trash can right here. Pop-up trash can. I got tissue. I've got emergency blanket. Oh, the other nice thing I want to talk about since I'm back here. You'll see the roof line is very tall. People that are over six feet tall, they appreciate the headroom. And sometimes you're going to get a dog. You cannot refuse service dogs. Uh, in this business. Um, sometimes people have personal dogs. You can refuse them if they are pets. But generally I don't have to because now with this big huge trunk, the big dogs go right here in the back. Um, so this is my stash. got Starburst. I've got Trail Mix. I've got uh, first aid kit. I've got extra barf bags. Oh yeah, you're going to need barf bags if you do the late night shift. Primarily, you want if you if they feel like they're gonna get sick and throw up, um, yeah, pull over and ask them to throw up or in a in a polite way. I have sardines in case you know the zombie apocalypse comes. I can survive a couple days on sardines. Let's see what else? Uh, yeah. Uh, I get to play their music. What else are I gonna talk about? to get you help you get five stars well um, you know sign up for Lyft or Uber if you haven't already uh, you might and be a driver and you can earn up to 300 bucks on Uber and 750 bucks on Lyft depending on the time of year and the promotion I think Boston is running $750 if you complete uh, 100 rides within your first 30 days I'll do 20 rides a day so 100 rides can be done in five days. Uh, in four hours of driving, you'll probably be able to do about 10 rides. What other tips and tricks? Be kind, bathe. Oh, I wash the car daily. I wash the car daily. I vacuum the car daily. Um... Normally washing detail the car costs 20 bucks plus inside out armor all it and everything But you can buy a hundred dollar or seventy dollar unlimited monthly and it's really worth the money So that's kind of what I do Passengers appreciate a clean car, okay um, Be friendly be kind yeah take a bath because you don't want to stink. Chew some gum, brush your teeth. You don't want to stink. Um, we take a lot of young people home sometimes late at night. You don't want to be a creepster. I've heard of Lyft drivers, Uber driving, making passes on customers. Don't do that. Don't be a a-hole and make a pass on, on, on any vulnerable young woman who might be drunk and passed out in your car because I've had a number of girls who have been drunk and passed out in the car. Um, I feel like a big brother. I feel like a, a, a father, 
uh, an uncle um, and the last thing I would do is hurt anyone and uh, I am a black belt and I'll kick anyone's ass who messes around with my passengers um, it's a bunch of it's building trust I'm ex-military I don't mess around I don't, I don't want to talk too much about my religion but okay I'm a Christian I I believe in doing the right thing golden rule all right do good for people and hopefully people appreciate that don't do evil like Google says don't be evil so as an uber driver or a lyft driver don't be evil they might hit on you okay fine that could happen I've heard about romance but you know it's not gonna happen here because I'm married I've had a lot of pastors who said, hey, they won't ask me to clock out and go party with them. Uh, you know, I'm making money. I have goals. I have a family, you know. I've got a wife at home. And it's kind of nice and flattering. Don't be an a-hole. Don't, don't take advantage. All right? Let them have their fun. That's cool. That's it. Um, what else am I talking about? Uh, that's cool about the Prius V. Black on black. People think it's a limo. One last pass. Okay, well that's about it. I Oh, uh, if you're not a Lyft driver or an Uber driver, you can still use my code CPMEX. C -P -M -E -X. How I remember is Chili Pepper Mexican. CPMEX. You can use that code as a driver for Lyft or Uber. You can use that as a brand new passenger, CPMEX. Load it up on a phone. You can use it for your wives, girlfriends, whatever. And uh, you'll get $20 to $50 uh, free rides if you're a first time user. If you're a first time driver, you might be able to earn $300 to $500 or even $750. $50 within your first month extra bonus and it's on both sides you get the $300 I get the $300 you make $500 I make $500 you make $750 I make $750 now if you sign up by yourself you may not get the $300 bonus you may not get the 750 it's like a friends and family kind of a bonus if that's my understanding so if you really like this video I hope you like it um, subscribe if you want. I don't know. I'm kind of new to this. Uh, and uh, I'll hope to share more tips for you uh, down the road. I know it's been a really long video, but I hope you've to have shared some wisdom and some things uh, for you. Uh, don't get upset. Don't get crazy. Keep a cool, calm mind. Breathe in. If you have one bad ride, just live to survive for another ride, okay? It's gonna be okay. Breathe in, six count. Exhale, four count. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. All right, so, there's gotta be something else here to talk about. Room, car, black, black on black. People feel like it's a limo. Uh, I do have a lot of crazy stories to share, but uh, again, I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to be the best Uber driver or the best Lyft driver, although I have ratings from pastors who say I'm the best Uber driver ever, I'm the best Lyft driver ever, so on and so forth. I get a lot of CEOs sitting in my car. I get a lot of celebrities sitting in my car. I, don't, I won't tell you who they are. Um, but they're really cool. Oh, the difference between Lyft and Uber. Oh, let's talk about that. Well, Lyft takes a 20% commission, and so does Uber. But Lyft has a couple of neat, interesting things. If you do 50 hours with Lyft, and if you do 10 of those hours in what they call prime time, they give you back 20%. So basically, 
they give you back the commission that you lost. So you're at net. I mean, say I did $1,500 in a week and 20% commission, that's 300 bucks. If I did my 50 hours and 10 of those hours in the, what they call the prime time, then that $300 comes back. Instead of getting $1,500 in fares that were and net out 200, net out 1200 where Lyft takes their $300 cut, I get all $1,500. Here's the other kicker. Here's, this is huge between Lyft and Uber. Lyft allows the rider to tip you. That's right, Uber does not allow tipping. Not at this time. So Lyft, I'll tell you, I make up to $20, sometimes more, a day in tips. Lyft does not take a commission on the tips at all. So you keep your tips. So five days, $20, that's $100. That's four to $500 a week potentially, uh, or $100 a week potentially in tips. Sometimes more, sometimes less. And, uh, well, that's it. Maybe I'll give you more strategy later, and I'll tell you about the wild stories later, because there's a lot of wild stories. I guess we all have our stories. All right, over and out. Take care. Once again, this is the Midnight, midnight Lift, and uh, use my code, CPMEX, C-P-M-E-X, Chili Pepper Mexican, C-P-M-E-X, uh, to earn up to $300, $500, $750, maybe $100, depending on your market and the promotion. As a new driver, sign-on bonus. And uh, if you're a brand new passenger, brand new rider, uh, you get $20, up to $50 in free rides. So say you have a daughter in college, give her the, give her the code. If you have a husband, wife, give her the code. And um, save some money. And yes, uh, Uber and Lyft will give me a commission, like five, ten bucks, if you are a brand new passenger. So I mean, I'm not going to make a million dollars here. I don't expect to. I mean, typically, we as a oh here, here let me give you some numbers. Um, I work five, six days, six days a week, eight to ten hours, sometimes twelve hours. I will earn roughly $1,200 to $1,600, sometimes $1,800 a week. That's good for a lot of you, but for some of you, maybe that's not, not enough, right? So that's realistic. As an Uber X, as a Lyft, I've talked to Uber black guys, they don't make as much money as they used to. And they got the more expensive car. Their cars will eat a lot of gas, right? I'm spending $10, $15 a day in gas, sometimes less, all right? So if you're making $100 a night and you spent $50 on gas, how much did you make? $50. If I made $100 in a night driving four hours and I spent $5 in gas, how much did I make? I made $95. So hybrids, um, water, gum, starburst, aux cable, power chargers, leather seating, uh, reclining seatings front and back, uh, room for the dog if they had a dog. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, have some barf. See this? This is a barf bag. I have it in the back, back seat. I've had five girls almost throw up in my car in the past few weeks. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's crazy. I, I do drive mid, I'm the midnight lift, so I drive at midnight a lot. So, uh, and I'm in the San Francisco market. Um, let's give you an idea of revenue. Uh, oh yeah, let's talk about that. So I had picked up a girl in San Francisco. She went to San Jose. That was a one hour drive. It was $88 fare for an hours of driving. And she slept the whole time. And I wanted to get to that part about don't be a creepy a-hole. She was in a mini skirt and she passed out in my front seat. All right? All right, I'm a man. And I tried very hard to look straight. 
and I pretty much did. I did not touch her, did not do anything wrong. And so these women are vulnerable and don't be a prick. Don't be a douche. Don't mess around. I'll chop your head off. Just kidding. If you mess with any of my passengers on a Lyft or Uber ride, this is trust. We tr you, you, you go through a background check. If you do anything wrong, you sexually harass or molest any of these passengers, whether they pass out in your car or what, you will never be able to drive for Lyft or Uber again. It will be on your record, and I hope they nail you and you spend time in jail. All right? We don't need a-holes in as Lyft and Uber drivers. Uh, well, that's it. Um, be confident. You know, I'm confident. I'm a black belt. I'm mixed military, you know. I'd love to be able to drive for the dignitaries as a full-time job. You know, I won't even make six figures, but that's all right. It's all part-time for now until I figure things out. And, uh... Yeah, I'm happy. Life is simple. And breathe in. You don't get a five-star rating. It's not the end of the world. Just, uh, you'll get another ride. And, oh yeah, if you're lifting at night, Ubering at night, you better know where all the restrooms are. <laughs> you're going to be screwed if you don't know where to go to take a restroom break or a poop break or number two break, right? So, um... Yeah, so if you're in the city, there's two places where I go for my uh, pee breaks. And uh, there is only one place where I go for my number two breaks if I had to. It's, you know, the only clean place in San Francisco that I found. Well, there's a lot of them. If you know your bars, if you know your coffee shops, uh, then you'll know them. All right. Or your hotels. All right. So... Uh, Keep your car clean, black on black, people love it. Be friendly, be cool, bathe. You don't want to smell like, well, bad, all right? A lot of these cab drivers, well, I'm not gonna stereotype it, they already know, they smell bad. Uh, believe it or not, I pick up a lot of cabbies. A lot of cabbies get into my car and I drop them off at the cab, <laughs> cab pool and they go do their work, it's the funniest thing. So, uh, get a lot of executives so go from San Francisco to San Jose $80 ride during the day I come back and I think I have to go back to San Francisco and nothing no I, I pick up somebody in Palo Alto a tech worker getting off work going back to San Francisco $60 ride you don't know where you're gonna go I wind up in Mountain View and I'm bouncing around Palo Alto because there's a huge pretty good club scene over there and I'm busy over there so it's pretty cool, this ride-sharing phenomenon. And, uh, okay, so that's it. I've talked too long for this last 30 minutes. Hope you enjoyed the program. Talk to you later. This is the Midnight Lift. CPMEX is my code. If you're a brand-new rider, CPMEX, you can unlock $20 to 